Welcome to Studio 9. Welcome to Studio 9. Studio 9. Where do you see yourself in five years? You're a pretty cool force. What is the one text you would send to everybody in the world? Studio 9 um, gets deep. That must be like gut-wrenching. Great question, Stu. I, uh... It's my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> They're all great questions. <laughs> But you will in your lifetime have people who tell you what they think you're capable of. And the, the lesson for me is that most of the time they're wrong. I truly believe that like having that courage to go first is what leadership is about. I realized I, I had accidentally tapped into something full of mystery and wonder that I'll probably never fully understand. The time that you're going to question that belief and you're going to doubt yourself the most are when you're facing those challenging moments. And so it turns out being a doctor is useful. So is being an entrepreneur. She said, you taught me in a, in a nursery in the Yorkton Hospital that the outside has nothing to do with the love of a human being. That hit me too. Your vision has to be so clear that no one else might be able to see it, but if you see it, that's what matters. Anytime that I write a song, I'm like, people are gonna feel this, or then it, it just comes out contrived. Yeah. And, and a lot of the stuff that, that sort of has the magic to it is the stuff that you almost don't understand yourself. Yeah. She pulled me aside and she said, have you ever told your story? And so I told my story to my school for the very first time. Wow. And it was such a, a powerful moment for me. Please pay attention, folks. <laughs> Someone should nominate Stu for the Order of Canada. He deserves it. Just something. I don't know. Canada flag, a high five. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I got a tattoo that says the future belongs to the misfits. And I let a high school kid give me that tattoo in his garage. Yeah, I am scared. So. I'm terrified of being naked. I'm <laughs> well, terrified. Well, we all are a little bit. I just, here, I'm terrified. Like, I, I could never skinny dip. I could never, yeah, I hide in the dark. I don't think my wife's ever seen me. Yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. Tried it for a year. My own dad benched me in hockey That's because bad. I know it's sad. I wrote my first song for my best friend. Uh, it was called My Best Friend. Oh, that's, um, great. That's, great. that's a great title. <laughs> We've gotten to this point that if I don't hear from you, you must be dead. You gotta lick your toes off when you're done. Well, let's just show us. <laughs> and that is one of my favorite speaking moments because the audience at that moment always goes, oh! That was interesting. I hit the stage and I see these beautiful smiles in the future of tomorrow and I'm like, this is why we do this. You're awesome. I like this. <laughs>